Well, the Japanese are wondering why is it that their ship docked in Nagasaki has gotten so much coronavirus, even though it's been docked there since March 14th. The answer is simple. It's what you put in your mouth. When you reloaded that ship with their products, you took products into your ship from outside the ship, and those products were contaminated. And by the simple act of touch, and you see this here, my oils, when you touch a product and you have coronavirus and you transfer it from one place to another, you're transferring coronavirus. No different than if it happened at a meat packing plant or a toy factory or a cell phone factory. If the coronavirus is in your system and you are shedding it and you put it on something and it goes to a place where the population doesn't have it, it'll go very quickly through that population. We find this even more so, especially in situations where there's a low vacuum, like boats. They have a very low vacuum. Temperature gradients in normal, and most often they have high humidity, so things can stay suspended in the air. So if you're looking for your culprit here in Japan, most likely it's how did you get your supplies in, and who's your supplier? Backtrack that. I think we're going to find a major problem with that. If I was China right now, I wouldn't accept any produce from the United States of America unless it was living. And then even then, I would test it because gosh knows, those cows could have coronavirus. Those pigs could have coronavirus. I wouldn't buy anything from anyone right now without wiping it down.